Good afternoon, it's one o'clock in the afternoon in the southern suburbs of Perth, Western Australia, Australia. My name is Elise Lonsdale and I'm standing at the Charles Treasure Reserve of the Charles Treasure Park with my new digital camera which is a Travel Zoom 30, a Panasonic TZ30. I've actually got a vision impairment so you'll hear me from time to time using my mobile phone to find things out like the time. Now this is the first excursion I've had with this phone with this camera rather. Up until recently I've been shooting high definition videos on my iPhone. As I've recently moved to Perth and now have a trip to Sydney planned in two weeks time I thought it was time to purchase a small but easy to use and high quality digital camera for not only still photographs but also for making high definition movies that can be posted on YouTube. We're now down at the Duck Pond in the reserve. Um, some places actually mark this as Wilson's Reserve. It might be the part that's a bit further down, but we'll just refer to it as Charles Treasure. And I'm just going to have a bit of a play with the zoom. I've just been playing around with different camera modes, different settings. I'll take it to its full extent of the zoom. I'm a fair way back from that, um, that fountain. Mm. There we go. This one. We actually live under a flight path. And they're taking off into the southwest and he'll either bank around to go north to Asia or Europe or down to the south. I suspect he's going to go north. It's turning now actually, that's on turning. Automatic cameras can get a little bit confused with their focus when you put them on the spot, but that's quite a nice shot. So we're not too far away from a flight path here. And it also gives you a good idea of the powerful zoom on this. Still filming with the uh, the PF PSF, the progressive scan, and uh, really putting this camera in pretty much the highest settings it will take in uh, in preparation for my trip to Sydney. So if I can get another plane and have the tripod on the ground, I was actually holding the camera and tripod and trying trying to track it. So it was reasonably difficult to do, but. One of the advantages, I guess, of having a limited field of vision is that you get used to the camera's limited field of vision. And I was thinking of you, Narissa, if you're watching this video. Let's have a look at the ducks. We're almost where I wanted to be, but I didn't want to scare too many away. What is going on here? There you go. So how peaceful is that? Look at the look at the definition. Make sure I'm actually filming the right thing here. Yep, I certainly am. Isn't that peaceful? Just the glint on the water and the, the, the definition that's turning up here in this display has got me mind boggling. It, it really has. It, it's got some really qu good quality optics in this camera. It, it is a travel zoom and typically with Panasonic everything they make is generally pretty good. Ten minutes. It's summertime here in Australia. I don't think I mentioned the date earlier. It's actually the 20th of January 2013. It's now I'm going to say 2012. Well, 2012 was still happening 21 days ago, wasn't it? No, early January 2013 in the height of an Australian summer. This little fella seems uh, wants to come out and have a closer look. There's two of them up on the on the uh, the ramp here. Mm -hmm. 
bit of a scratch. I'm actually using a, a Velbon tripod, although the camera does have image stabilisation built into it. Isn't it peaceful? See if we can follow him right into the water. What a carefree life. Feel like uh, Sir David Attenborough are making wildlife documentaries here. Oh, I think it's a magpie. Wow. Baby one that is, not a very big one. Yep, there are the magpies around, you can hear them. Let's hope they're not going to swoop down from on high and take off the top of my head. This bird knows I'm paying attention to him. Um, one of the easy, good things about this camera, it's very, very easy to switch from movie to um, stills, and which, which is great because I'm going to take a bit of time to get used to that. And I was just taking a number of still photos. Don't think he's really going to go off and swim across the pond. Not a very big bird at all. Hope his parents don't mind him being out. Okay. My back and neck and shoulders are all sore because I've been looking at stuff all weekend. Okay, it's got R13 and counting down. Oops, he's gone now. It must be a timer so I can do 13 hours of video. Or is it 13 minutes? I would say it's more like 13 minutes on the space remaining on this card. That's fine. It's just gone 1.41 p.m. That's my iPhone talking, it's voiceover, and I think it's time we went back. We've been here now for about 40 minutes and take these photos home and have a play on the software and editing utilities that come with the camera. Thanks for watching.